Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's look at inequalities that deal with hyperbolas in the function y equals 1 over x. Well first hyperbolas and here we have your typical hyperbola which opens sideways because x is in front and y is behind. x squared over 9 minus y squared over 4 less than or equal to 1. So when we have the equal symbol we need to draw a solid line which means the boundary is included in the solution when we don't see the equal sign we draw a dashed boundary because that means the boundary is not part of the solution now either the solution is contained within these two regions or the solution is contained in here we're going to use the, the method again where we're going to shade out the region that does not it's not part of the solution to leave blank the portion that is part of the solution because it makes it easier later when we have multiple equations at the same time or multiple inequalities at the same time. So here the question is, is it the region between the two curves that is part of the solution or is it these two regions right here? Well again we can use a test point. If you let x and y equal 0, we're talking about the origin, does that satisfy the inequality? So 0, and I'll go ahead and write it down. So is 0 minus 0 less than or equal to 1 question mark because we picked the origin as a test point and the answer is yes, it does satisfy the inequality which means that this region is part of the solution. That means these two regions on the left and the right side are not part of the solution so we get rid of that and so it's this region in here between the two that is part of the solution. Over here, it'll be the same thing, but now you see that we, the parabola opens up and down. But again, let's, let's plug in the test point 0, 0. So 0 minus 0, is that less than 1 question mark? Of course, the answer is yes. So we pick the point that's part of the solution. That means these other two regions are not. So we can go ahead and shade those out like this. So this is part of the solution. What do we do when we have a 1 over x type function? Of course, it's an inequality. And we have x times y less than or equal to 4, which can be written as y is less than or equal to 4 over x. So here are the two graphs, uh, or the two curves that represent the boundary of that inequality. And uh, notice I drew a dashed line, but I see an equal sign. So essentially, it shouldn't be a dashed line. It should be a solid line over here. And over here as well, it should be a solid line because I included the equal sign. Now, either the solution lies here or the solution lies in between. And notice picking a zero, zero point is not a good idea because we have a, an x in the denominator. But we could pick something like, for example, 1, 1. So let's pick the point 1, 1. And how do we know that that's not on this side of inequality? Well, let's see here. Um, Let's pick the point 1, if, if y is equal, let's find the boundary. Okay, I'm stumbling a little bit here, but let's go ahead and write this down. Let's say we have y is equal to 4 over x. If y is equal to 1, what should x equal to? So if y is equal to 1, that's equal to 4 divided by question mark. Of course, the answer is x equals 4. So when y is equal to 1, x must be equal to 4 to be on the boundary, which means that that point 1, 4 is right there. So by choosing the point 1, 1, we're well on this side of that boundary. Okay, now let's plug that into our inequality. Is 1 less than or equal to question mark 4 over 1? And the answer, of course, is yes, because 1 is less than 4, which means we pick the point in the region that satisfies inequality, which means the other side does not, which means we can get rid of this and we can get rid of this side which means the area in between the two curves is equal is the solution to that inequality or at least satisfies that inequality and that is how it's done works all right